And that we all have differences and we all have challenges, but it's how we look at those differences and it's how we deal with those challenges that make us who we are. I've worked really hard to show people that I can do whatever I put my mind to. So it's important that all of you know that just because somebody looks different or somebody acts different, it doesn't mean that they should be judged or treated un treated under differently. And when you see someone with a disability, or see someone who's a little different than you, instead of staring at them or ignoring them, just say hi. Just act like they're any just act like you would to any of your friends. And just be nice because in reality we all have differences and we all have challenges and we're just different in our own ways. I didn't know what I was walking into until you finally sat down in the wheelchair and got to experience of what other people experience every single day of their lives. So I guess I just didn't realize of how hard it was and of how much respect you gain for the people who are in wheelchairs now. So when I first uh, thought about the uh, idea of getting in a chair and rolling around, um, I feel a little guilty to say it now, but I thought it would be fun initially. Um, I, I thought there would be some challenges, but overall I thought it'd be kind of a, a fun experience. I realized after about 30 seconds when I tried to get through my first doorway that I was going to have a long day ahead of me and immediately I uh, thought about the level of respect that I have for people who are in a chair, a wheelchair, um, all the time. Kind of, I fit through the door exactly so nobody else has room to go around me so they notice me and so I try to maneuver I can't like how much I can out of the doorway so they can get through so like I feel like I'm a nuisance for them but I'm just trying to get to the classroom not at all the the doorways were way too small and in some places of the school it's really hard to turn and also I couldn't get into the locker room because of the benches. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Tommy. Um, I'm a drummer and composer and producer uh, in Chicago.
yeah, I don't know if it makes sense, but I felt a little more um, vulnerable and like, just like really small compared to everyone else standing up. Some of them would like start like pushing me even though they weren't supposed to and like, like with the wheelchair. And I'd like tell them no, like I'm not supposed to do that, but they still kind of would. It kind of like felt like like really bad, like especially if you think about people who are like fully paralyzed because they don't really have control over that. Like I could like tell them to stop or like push them away or whatever, but people like can't do that and that's like really scary to me because if someone just takes you and like you can't do anything about it or like fight back, that's what's really hard and scary about it. I liked it overall and I felt like it was a really good experience and I'll definitely like do it next year if I can. I actually have a, a very good friend that's in a wheelchair. Um, her name is Kimora. She's the best person ever. I really enjoy hanging out with her and she's so fun, so energetic and doesn't really let her disability stop her. She's so happy all the time. She has a condition where she um, can't really process a lot of stuff or like it's hard to understand her sometimes and so I wanted to get across to her in the simplest way possible that I can be like her. Uh, so I helped the class like um, they had braille recipes and they were trying to de decode the words and so I like kind of helped them figure it out. They were telling me like how they didn't know braille and how they wanted to learn it. Don't judge a book by its cover. It's just everybody's everybody who they are. So if their legs don't work or they just can't move around, ask them for ask them if they need help or something. Because it's better to help someone and get a no than to not ask at all. We have one kid who's in a wheelchair, and I like never like really would talk to him. I feel like I would probably start like talking to him now that I feel like how he's felt. All of us have differences, and some of them are visible and some of them are invisible. Some people have brown hair, some people have blonde hair, some people are tall, some people are short. But no matter what, you have to remember that it's important that we accept everybody for who they are, and that we go into challenges with positive attitudes, and we just encourage everybody to reach their goals together. Because in order to be the best that we can be, we just have to accept ourselves for who we are and focus on our ability instead of our disability. Thank you.